everyone how are you all doing welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing really really well so I'm not gonna stay here for very long today because what I have filmed for you is a house tour I've been meaning to do this for ages but I've kind of been waiting for you know I've been waiting for that moment that the house looks absolutely perfect and there's no faults and it's just like absolutely flawless in every single way but let's be real, that does not happen. It definitely doesn't happen when you've got a five month old baby and a dog. It just doesn't happen. Life doesn't look perfect on the inside of a house for anyone who's got a baby and a dog and a life in general, really. So it's taken me ages to just go, right, you know what, sod it. I'm just gonna clean up sort of as I go along, try, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it is stage. Like the house does look nice all the time. I try and keep on top of it, but um, I did move like bits of washing out of the rooms and anything like that, just so it looked extra nice. But uh, yeah, so I've just done a bit of a house tour for you all. So I'll just take you through everywhere in our house. The only thing I didn't do is the garden and the front door. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you all really enjoy it. So uh, sit back, grab yourself, a tea, grab yourself a champagne, grab yourself a Prosecco, a wine, a Baileys, whatever you fancy. I'm having a Baileys tonight personally. But anyway, uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy the video and I really hope you enjoy the house tour. And yeah, I will be back with you all very soon. Enjoy. Everyone, this is the entranceway to our home. Please excuse any marks on the carpet or anything. We have a pooch, we have a baby. Um, there is definitely a couple of marks, can already see them. Um, but it is what it is, we can't possibly, we've already had the carpet clean, we couldn't possibly get it done uh, anymore. Obviously I hoover all the time, but it's not going to be perfect always. Also we've got a few marks um, on walls and things that need touching up. But this is our entranceway. So we've got this really nice little heart here, some uh, little trinket dish. Um, this has just got like our internet and everything inside it. Um, that leads obviously through to the kitchen, I'll show you that bit in a minute. So this little stool I bought from Homescapes, it's like a crochet stool uh, with wooden legs. And then these were actually from Asda, these trees, they were like £2 at Christmas time and I just put them in like a plain jar sort of style vase with like crinkles on it. Crinkles, I don't know what I'm talking about. And then just the um, little window by our front door, we've just got this little bunch of flowers in a jug uh, and a little home sign which I got from Dunelm. Um, so all like pretty standard entranceway stuff uh, and obviously that leads up our stairway uh, and bring you in here this is sort of our like everything area which you know that's our downstairs low and um, this is like coats and shoes and stuff I mean I wish I could do something more glamorous with this but it is just a practical area to be honest to put all our stuff shoes little stool uh, Dyson um, that is what it is. Obviously, I've made it a bit prettier. We've put like these hearts here. It is actually just a really functional space. Um, yeah, ideally, I would like to make this look a bit prettier, but I really don't know if you can. So, just coming into our downstairs toilet. So, this is just literally a really small toilet room. Again, we've got the flashy mirror, which is really nice. And we've got. Um, an anchor on the back wall, got some scales, yeah it's just a really small toilet room to be honest um, but really handy to have, um, I don't think you, I don't know when you've kind of got a downstairs toilet you can't imagine not having one, that looks better with the light on, but yeah that's the downstairs, just got a few cleaning products down there, drawer storage is really really good, uh, we've got Eric's little snuggle bath down there yeah that's the downstairs toilet everyone so everyone this is our kitchen area so we have got the microwave and the oven in the wall we've got these really nice tiles there's a bit of water on the tiles there yeah we've got these really nice um like wooden sort of effects tiles um radiator on the wall here Please excuse the marks on the wall though, we need to touch those up. We've got this really lovely Thomas Kent clock on the wall. Just the door there leads through to the uh, front door sort of area. Coming over here, we've got our little recycling 
bin. We've got Elvis's little water tray, fruit bowl, all our little cookbooks and stuff. I can't wait to use this, the Joe Wicks uh, Ween in 15. Um, Jamie Oliver Veg Book, a couple of others. Um, got this really nice biscuit tin which I got from Barcelona when we went for my birthday last year. So coming up to a year ago which is just crazy. I mean all this stuff that's happened this year. Then we've got this gorgeous print that I bought from, well it's not a print actually, it's a velvet. I don't know if you can see that, it's like a really nice velvet and it's like done with all glitter and everything uh, by someone called Daisy Mason. I got it from a really nice boutique home store. Also got a bit of touching up to do here with the grout on the tiles. Uh, but these were done by a really nice guy locally. Um, and I love those because our kitchen didn't come with tiles, it was just like a plain wall. But I, I had to have tiles and I love like the, um, what they call these tiles? Metro tiles. Yeah, we've got this um, little Mark and Grace um, scrabbly style print. We've got a candle here that Mark got me from Aldi, actually. It's like one of those that's made to look like a Yankee candle, but it's actually really good. This tap is a lifesaver, by the way. I love that you can, like, move everything. It's really good. Uh, outside, obviously, we live on a building site, so it's not very exciting to look out there because, obviously, it's a new house. I got this from Dunnell. I think. Yeah, don't know. Uh, these were from Leeks, these flowers, and this is a, um, oh my god, what's it called? Port Marion, that's it. There's a port, it's a Port Marion one. In here we've just got, I think it's boilery stuff in there. Um, got our toaster and our kettle that are both from Breville. This is a really nice cup that my mum got, um, Mark for Christmas just as a little stocking filler which is really cute. Uh, in here I went sort of like nice, I like wooden in kitchens uh, so I went for this. It's not dissimilar sort of from what we had in our last home obviously. It's a modern home this one but I still like that proper country feel. Oh well this is sat there now that's nice. It's on his little chair. Uh, but yeah this is the kitchen. Um, there is a couple of bits. We always end up with letters stacked behind here. Got some treats of Elvis's in there. A little pot here, I can't remember where that was from, but again, like, staying in that country feel. MTP prep machine, again, the metro tiles, our hob, and these doors are like, it's not what I would have picked if we'd had every option in the world for the kitchen. I would have preferred a more sort of shaker-style kitchen, um, but I do like it, and I feel like we've managed to make it look really country, even though it's um, a modern kitchen. So, yeah, I do really, really like the kitchen area. But yeah, that's sort of... Um, a proper view of the kitchen from the living room because it leads into here um, and yeah I really like it oh, and that leads through to our bathroom Mark did that wall painting so I will take you around that bit in a minute as well uh, but yeah this is the kitchen I love it especially when it's neat and tidy like it is at the minute and I do try and keep it this way as much as I possibly can let's go and see how this hi babe hi are you going to do the living room with us? Should we do the living room in a second? Yeah. Yeah, we will. We're going to do the living room. And so going into our living room. Um, this is our dining table. Just got my little Mrs. Hinch book here. Uh, a really nice bunch of artificial flowers that I put together. Got a really nice uh, light over there from Leeks. Um, Eric's got a huge toy box here loads of stuff in there and a changing mat. Eric's toys are just everywhere but um, I have obviously, this is staged like a lot of the time the room is messier than this uh, but obviously I didn't want it messy for the video. We've got our sofa there and I've just draped a uh, sheepskin rug over it and um, we've got a really nice wicker heart, wooden heart. Uh, these curtains that lead out onto the back garden um, I really need to clean these. Any tips for cleaning these sort of like chiffon curtains, please let me know. We've also had to put like this piece of grey carpet here, which I'm really not a fan of, but it is very practical for when Elvis runs in and out. Who is here now? Hello, baby. Elvis's little basket of toys. We've got our old TV unit, which we love, which is from Arigi Bianchi, which we wanted to bring to this house. I've actually got a new lamp, so I'm going to be replacing this over the weekend and putting that upstairs somewhere. Um, yeah, this is our little, I love this little unit. I need to take this down, but my best friend got me this, and I just think it's the cutest thing ever. 
It's got Mummy, Daddy, Eric and Elvis, our first Christmas. I think it's so cute. Then we've got the Yankee Candle Glittering Star. A really nice wooden star that I got from the Garden Centre. I love stuff from the Garden Centre. Baskets are life. I've got a really nice little lantern here. Another Katie Loxton bag that's got my friend Secret Santa in it. So we haven't seen each other because of lockdown. Case is on, but it's on mute. And then here we've just got this really nice like teddy chair you see it's like a teddy texture chair and then i've just draped this blanket over which i got from amara um these chairs you can get them from, di from different places but i actually bought this one um from jd williams um so yeah that's our little corner chair but yeah this is the room um oh my god i didn't show you this so i got this from uh, you've been faced so I've been following her for years and she did this portrait of us all obviously I paid for it um, it's Mark, me, Eric and Elvis and it says the squad on it because that's what we call ourselves um, and I put it in this really nice gold frame so I got Mark that as a little surprise not long ago uh, just before Christmas so yeah that's up there I feel like it's a bit too high actually but we wanted it level with the love heart but now on reflection I think we should have probably done both of them lower down uh, the paint here, by the way, is Oxford Stone from Fower and Ball. Um, but yeah, this is the room. It's definitely... Oh, and that light is from Debenhams, don't know if you see that. On reflection, I just think, did I get the right light for the room with how I wanted it country feeling? But I'm not too sure. Um, but normally we don't even have the big light on, so to speak. It's more like this. But for the sake of the video, I thought I need to illuminate the room a bit. So yeah. Oh, and that mirror that is from Wayfair um, ages ago um, but yeah I do really like the room um, but we definitely need something on that wall where the Fowler and Ball paint is uh, Fowler and Ball Oxford Stone housing unit is um, the sofa is from housing units um, yeah it, it doesn't feel finished to me in here oh and obviously we've got the telly on the wall um, but yeah I don't know I do like the room I do like the room but it's just not, it's just not finished feeling for me. It, I think it's this wall, I think it needs something on this wall um, for it to really feel finished. Um, I don't mind Eric's toy being here, the uh, play gym, because it's a wooden one. I hate plastic toys being out. Uh, obviously they are through the day and stuff but I'm just so keen to get them away by the end of the day when he's gone to sleep. Um, just because they look really messy. Um, I don't mind obviously when he's playing with them because that's just really silly but when they're out everywhere, oh, I'm just one of the people that drives me mad, but yeah, this is our living room, um, and yeah, uh, I hope you all like it. Like I say, I'd, I, <laughs> what's wrong, Elvis? Oh, and the cushions, for anyone wondering, uh, which definitely need to wash the covers, uh, from McAllister Textiles. I've got our little Alexa over there, um, yeah, so that's kind of that, really. Our little living room, it's actually quite a big room, really, um, but yeah, that's it. Okay, everyone, so this is our bathroom. So we've got a downstairs loo, but this is the bathroom. So it's really nice. We've got a towel rack there slash radiator. We've got the bath bridge, Eric's little bath seats in the bath. Uh, that's another one of Eric's little things. Uh, I've just got some nice flowers there. And it's a double, does up, doubles up as a shower and a bath. Keep all of our little towels and everything in there. Yeah, so this is our bathroom. Spotlights on the ceiling. It is really nice. And the bath bridge has just got all my stuff on it, basically. Uh, Eric's little cups there for when he has a bath. And yeah, I do really, really like this room. I love the mirror that lights up. That's so good, especially for makeup and skincare. Um, yeah. It's a really nice bathroom. It's not the biggest bathroom in the world, but it's a good size for us. So yeah, we really like it. Right, everyone. So this is my favorite room in the house. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen this room already because I do like sharing pictures of it because I just love it so much. This is our bedroom, so our master bedroom. So I've got these really nice lights, uh, lamps over here that I got from the range, the little love heart. Um, I got from our new bank garden centre in Dob Cross. Um, I've got a little Google uh, Mini over there. Google Nest, is that what it's called? Um, 
but yeah I keep that hidden out the way I don't like those things being on show just got a little Katie Loxton bag down here that's just cables that's a heated blanket and everything but I got these cushions from brand Ali and they are Kilburn and Scott ones so they're really nice like they're pure wool tartan oh don't my nails look good on here these ones are Paoletti ones and they're from Arigi Bianchi so they look fab in here um, and the bedding I can't think where the bedding's from but it's a really nice one because I hate ironing like ironing is the one job that I'm just like I refuse to do it so even our bedding I always go for ones that don't really need ironing because they've got some kind of crinkle or texture to them so this is perfect just got my Country Homes magazine there my mum subscribed to that a while ago and I love it uh, this is a DKMY throw um when we first got it, it was perfect, but for some reason Elvis likes to dig it, like, and when he gets on the bed, yeah, we are those people that lay our dog on the bed, whatever, uh, he digs the, the throw, so I've just kind of accepted defeat, like, it's not going to be perfect, and that's fine. This is a Joe Brown's pineapple. Uh, I'm really not into the Joe Brown stuff, but some of the homey stuff is actually really, really nice, so, yeah, I loved that. Uh, just a little bunch of, um artificial flowers that I did um I actually don't know what these are I can't think of the name but these are just like artificial peonies perfect for me because I can't do anything wrong to them so they're just there and I can't destroy them basically that's another garden centre by my auntie got us this from Marks and Spencer just a little ornament it's a candle so obviously we can light it but I just like looking at it because it's really really neat um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to lie that, it's just for display. <laughs> oh, and our bedside cabinets, uh, the drawer sets, they're both from Arigi Bianchi as well. Um, and they match everything else we've got in the house pretty much. Um, but yeah, light was, tends to say done elm, but I'm not 100% sure. Blinds were blinds to go. This is our desk and chair, so... And then we've got these nice um, wicker hearts on here as well. So if I actually give you like a pan of the room. So this is the bed and tables, light. So this is like the setup of the room. My wardrobe's here. Don't know what these are like inside. Oh, they are fairly tidy. Always need more storage. So I've got all shoes and I've got to put all my jewellery in my Katie Loxton jewellery box. I really need to do that because it's all just everywhere. Um, but essentially it's fairly tidy in there. This, oh my god, this is all going wrong now. Um, yeah, this isn't very neat. It needs definitely a tidy up in there. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> Let's close it. A little picture of me and Mark. These are Mark's wardrobes and I'm definitely, yeah, so it's like almost, um, well, it's like a, how do you have like an angled finish to the roof? Um, so yeah, they're the two sets of wardrobes, Mark's and mine in this room. And then this is our desk, so I won't zoom in on that because um, this is Mark's um, work that he's doing. So um, yeah, this is the desk. So I've got my lovely Katie Loxton stuff. Mark ordered me these stunning sunglasses from Katie Loxton. Um, and he didn't put an M on the end of the case, so I'm still just Greysdale at the moment on there. I'm going to see, actually, if they will add an M on or if they'll send me another one. I'm just going to be cheeky, uh, and then it can be GDM um, instead, but we'll see what they can do. And then I've got my Katie Lotson jewellery box here as well. Um, the desk, got our Mac, um, oh, and then in this little trinket, this little trinket dish has got, like, my Lana lips in it. Mark's um, Samsung headphones, my Revolution headband for makeup, and then we've just got a bit of um, teething gel for Eric as well, uh, which is just really handy to have upstairs. Um, and yeah, then this book as well. I won't say it because it might get um, pulled off YouTube. And then my ring light, of course. But yeah, that is the master bedroom. I hope you love it as much as we do. I think this room is fab. I love it. Everyone, this is our second bedroom. So, yeah, I really like this room, actually. Um, but, yeah, it's a really nice, like, fresh-looking room. It's not finished, to be honest. Um, there is things that I want to do with this room, like I want to get a nice headboard over here above the bed. Um, 
got the pictures there. I feel like something could go on this wall as well. It's just completely plain at the back. Um, but yeah, definitely a headboard here or something, mirror something around there. Snowy outside. This light, I can't remember where that was from, just a simple, it wasn't an expensive one, but it does for the room and it looks quite nice. And then, you just got Helvis's little bed down here as well. And then this is, um, just ignore me and my no makeup face, but these are like the mirrors, wardrobes and everything. I will go in the wardrobes actually. Storage is really good in here. So this is like all my coats, a few summer things. And then we've got a couple of bits up there as well. Like I said, the storage is really good. It's never enough, like we always need more, but got quite a lot of stuff in here, like I say, coats and whatever, um, so which is good. And then we've got the other side as well, which is like all my tops and everything. And then we've got another section for marks, things at the top as well. Um, it's quite well organized, really. But again, there's always um, room for improvement, so I could definitely probably do with sorting this out at some point. Just got a dressing gown there as well. Um, a little sort of poof there with a lamp on it. Again, I'm going to replace that lamp because I don't love it anymore. I definitely don't love the shade. It just looks tatty now. Uh, but yeah, the room is really nice. Just a nice chilled room. I really like this actually. So this is... Um, just a fake flower display that I created with, I did it like sort of um, in summer months, but I do quite like it all year round. Might change it sort of next winter, do something like ready with berries and stuff and everything. But in general, yeah, I really like this room. Um, I will try and link where I got everything from. Uh, these cushions were definitely from Next. These ones were from an online store that my mum got them from. I think this was from Dusk. Like I say, as and when I think of stuff, I will share. Um, but yeah, this is this room, the second bedroom. Now, everyone, this is Eric's room. So we're just, he's got his little toy story dressing gown just hung on the door here. Then we've got his lovely uh, transfer on the wall, which is like a painted uh, transfer. He's got his lovely little feather light, a little sheepskin rug, his first year's box that's got his other dressing gown in and a little towel that my friend got him, he's got a little basket, he's got all this really nice stuff, all these uh, muslin cloths and blankets in there. This is his cot and this is like this lovely, I bought this online I think, I don't know if it was Etsy or somewhere but just really nice. In fact no I think it was Amazon, just like a little bunting um, for the crib and then he's got this here, all these teddies. That was the first one um, that we got him from Builder Bear, which is really nice. So yeah, this is this is Eric's room. We're just waiting for the R, the I, and the C to come with these. And then yeah, he's got his pictures. Yeah, that's his room. I really hope that you all enjoyed the house tour everyone like I say the house is not perfect all the time I did make the extra efforts go around move bits of washing and bits and pieces that were left out toys and everything else of Eric's because those things are everywhere all the time you can't get away from that unless you have a utility room which right now we don't Um, so a utility room and a playroom sorry it just doesn't work does it you know things get left out and it is what it is but I really hope you all enjoyed this video I hope to see you all very very soon and please do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see I will be back with more videos very very soon bye